Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jessica. So today's video, like the title says, is going to be a get ready with me video. I will be showing you guys how I curl my hair. This is hair from Elo's hair. As you guys will see, all I do is just like, you know, unwrap the gift. I've actually used this wig a couple of times already. I have a video on it that showing you how I turned it brown from black and then went ahead and turned it blonde. This is how I preserve my hair, guys. I usually keep it um, packed in like the net and then I usually put it back. Ooh, there we go. And then I usually put it back in like the bed. So this is pretty much what it looks like. And every time I've worn this hair, I've only worn it straight. So I'm about to curl it and see how it looks. Uh, first off is going to be makeup, then hair, and then perfume. All right, guys, so my makeup is done. If only it would take 10 minutes to actually do this makeup in real life, I would be like ecstatic. So right now the bonnet is gonna come off. Um, And under my bonnet, oof, child, it's a big bonnet. Mm-hmm. I've lined with satin as well. Even the band part so that you protect your edges. Um, So I had just tied this on. I'm just going to take that off because I just put like edge control. I was way too lazy to um, braid my hair down because usually I'm supposed to put my hair in cornrows. But I was way too lazy to lay it down. So what I ended up doing was just putting it in twists and kept it pushing. And so I just put edge control on it. I'm going to show you guys how I wear my wig in case you buy hair from me and like you're not used to it. So basically this is what you're going to do. You're going to take the elastic band like this. This is the wig. This is a 4x4 four four closure. So this is the wig. This is it. So you're going to bend your head forward this way. Like so, like with the wig. Can you see it? That's the wig. So you bend your head. Get the elastic band to go behind. Like that. I don't know if you're going to see that, but that's the back. Then you hold your hair, the back of the wig, the unit, and then you flip it and pull it all the way to the back so that it covers like that. And then you see that? And then you just slap that baby down. Bam. Magic. So... Yeah, I haven't done anything to the hair since I washed it. I literally washed it and when it dried, I packaged it back in the box. But if you guys can see the back. So put curls in my hair, I'm gonna be using this curling iron 
It's the Revlon. I think I had got mine from Ross. But honestly, I feel like you can get this from Target or anywhere. Um, I'm going to start recording the back of my hair off camera. And then I'm going to try to record like the front part on camera. One, because I already have a video showing you guys how I curl hair. So I don't really think it's updated that much. And uh, yeah, I don't want this video to be too long. So I will curl the back off camera. But it's literally the same thing. And then I'll just show you guys like what I do in the front so don't go anywhere i recommend that if you have a mannequin head and like the stand which and the stands are pretty affordable because i feel like you can get one of those stands for like twenty dollars but if you have the stand i would highly recommend you put your unit on a mannequin head first and then curl it just to save you time and stress and all that wahala but if not then just go ahead and do it on your head I'm actually just going to look in the mirror here. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to just like, you know, try to use the one to press it because I want my part to actually be straight. I don't want it to be like curly all the way to the top. I kind of like how that straight look where it's like straight and then it curls, like angle it. I don't know if you guys will see that. And then I wrap the hair around it like that. Can you look at the colors? I feel like those colors look amazing. I count like 30 seconds in my head. And then I let the curl out. You know, like that. I squeeze, squeeze, and then I just drop it. See, you got that big, juicy, balancy curl right there. And there's different ways to curl hair, guys. This is just how I, the method I use. Take it like that way. I don't know if you guys, I'm trying to make sure I can show you. So you take it like that, and then you wrap it around it. I'm going to unwrap it, squeeze, ooh, it's hot, and then drop. So usually people would leave their hair like this after they curl it. Some people leave it like this. I'm here to tell you, you should not. I don't know how to explain, but this will get your hair very tangled. This will get your hair tangled. So like even really, really good hair that's not supposed to shed. When you leave it like this and then you go out and all that heat, all the humidity, it's, listen, just comb your curls out so that it, it looks better when you comb it out. Right now I'm just running my hands through it, making sure, especially the ends, because I've had this hair for a while now. I've actually had this hair for a really long time. It's been processed so many times. So I'm just making sure I get the ends, as you guys see, making sure, you know, it's all nice. The back. And this actually really helps. I was in my hair stay, so, you know, I'm just gonna give it like, Oh, I know I didn't do my part properly, but I'll fix that later because <laughs> a baby girl is tired. here. Sometimes this hair can be like really, really stubborn. Um, so actually, what you could do is you could just take your got to be spray. If those of you that have the got to be spray bottle and then just like spray your hands and then rub your hands together and then press down. I do that sometimes. And then when I do that, I make sure like I comb it so it's not hard. I already have a video showing you guys how I turn this hair uh, to this chocolate brown and I'm telling you that's the exact same hair the chocolate brown hair That's the exact same hair that I went back in months after and bleached again to be this so When I say it's processed it's processed, but at the same time it doesn't shed that much oh, I don't know if you guys can see these curls like that mm -hmm. And it doesn't snag Honestly, you see that this is why you need the um serum because that helps take away any dryness whatsoever that would definitely help you you guys definitely want to keep that in mind i love how this looks when it's combed out this is what the back looks like mm -hmm. do you guys see that my fragrance for the day is this beautiful, beautiful oriental floral beauty. Guys, I'm telling you this. And let's just appreciate the bottle. 
this perfume right here it's a beautiful oriental floral uh, if i remember it has jasmine this fragrance smells so good you just want to be covered in it it has honeysuckle and you you get that honey guys you get that honey like you get that sweetness it's floral it's not fruity it's just like very beautiful to me i feel like it's very feminine they did a really good job with this fragrance because i really really adore it this fragrance i'm not necessarily like feminine floral i i used to tell myself that i don't like floral fragrances but listen some of these fragrances that i'm discovering they're really really changing my mind don't get me wrong i still like my dark i still like that kind of fragrance where when i enter i want you to know that i'm in but i feel like this one's floral and it will do that so the top notes of this fragrance say apricot incest wormwood middle notes say honeysuckle jasmine camellia base notes say honey musk and ambroxan this fragrance guys you will get the honey you i get the jasmine off of this and i get the incest that's the part of the fragrance that i feel like it's soft but at the same time it's very very strong this is a fragrance where i feel like people will notice you the dry down is so beautiful the dry down for this fragrance oh god it is so delightful it's very pretty it's very affordable and the bottle is just gorgeous it is gorgeous so it's an oriental fragrance for women it was launched in 2015. It says it was an American fashion brand, Wolfox. They do hipster style and vintage inspired fashion. And this is a fragrance where if this bottle finishes, I will be buying the bigger size of this. Whenever this one finishes, I will be buying the bigger size because mm. anyhow, this is my scent of the day. Wild Fox by Wild Fox. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I just thought about doing something different like hair and perfume so i was like you know what why don't i do a video where i put everything together uh it's a get ready with me i am not going anywhere not going anywhere might go to the store not going nowhere i just wanted to look cute because guys there's some days where you just want to look and feel good that perfume makes me feel good my hair makes me feel good my makeup is pop in like you can't tell me i'm not a beauty queen right now okay like, ah, uh, just, you can't, you can't, you can't tell me I'm not a beauty queen right now, okay? <laughs> but anyhow, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you've actually tried this fragrance out before, because like I said, I haven't really heard anybody talk about it. So if you've tried it, let me know. What did you think about it? And if not, I would recommend it. It is good. I can definitely see myself wearing this spring, summer. So I appreciate all the support that I'm getting from you guys. My new subscribers, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video.